Okay, the very first thing is plug it in, turn it on, and then we'll look at the LCD screen and go through the setup wizard. First thing you'll notice is all five extruders are lit up with their blue light and their fans are running. So the next thing is to go to control, scroll all the way down to calibration and tests, and we're going to start off by running the fan test. So it was checking for the switched fans. That was five green out of five. Now it's looking at the print fan RPM test and the hot end fan RPM test. So they were all good. So that test is good and we're going to continue our calibration. I moved it over here. Let go. Now it's going to check the axis. And you can see the head is moving That's the y-axis. That's, that's good. Now it's going to do the x-axis. Now it's doing the z-axis calibration. See the, the print bed is rising up. It'll complete that to the top. For this next step, we need two tools. We need this very small wrench and then this stamped wrench for the back. The first step is to remove these two dock pins using this little wrench and they basically just unscrew, unscrew them and take them out. The next step is to loosen these two screws. I've got the little wrench there. Just a few turns. So I'll loosen those up. And when using the wizard, you can see it lights up, showing you which docking station this is number one to be worked on. Now we need to take these bars and move them all the way to the right to lock them in for the docking station. Okay, for this, we've got to move everything back. We've got to lock this to this. So we move it back. Then lock it. Lock it. There, I heard it click on both sides. So now, that's done. We can say good. Now we've got to tighten this screw again. Got it. So now this is the first time the printer moves with the print head with the extruder in it. Now we'll go back here and tighten this bottom screw. There it is. Now we'll put the dock pins back. Tighten them. All right, nice and tight. So it's going through this docking sequence now, and it docked back the next extruder. Ah, it was successful, yay. So at this point, I think we should continue to finish the calibration. Okay, so basically we're going to repeat the same process on docks 2 through 5 now. Okay, we've successfully calibrated all five of those. Now it's time to do the load cell test. So now it's going to grab the second tool and it's going to say continue. And in five seconds you need to tap the nozzle pretty firmly. Here goes. There we go, I did that. Now it's gonna dock it and go get the next tool head.
Look at that. And we'll finish all these doing the same thing. The checking all of the axes, everything's going to run fully up and down, so I'm going to get everything out of the way. I will let that run. I had to run this test twice because my my fourth sensor didn't light up green, so I ran it again. Everything ran okay. Now we're going to do the filament sensors calibration. Okay, now for the tool offset calibration, we're going to need that little tool. This is the tool calibration pin. It has this printed part. You put the stainless steel rod through here, and we're going to screw this into the center of the heat bed. So I took off the heat bed sheet. And I'm going to screw this in the very center. Now it's going to find that pin and touch the nozzle to it. And it finds the edge of that pin as well. So the final thing is take this pin off of the heat bed and put it in the hole on the left side filament sensor. Okay, we took the pin off, added the sheet. Now it's doing the heater testing. Ramping up the temperature right now. So that's fully preparing the Prusa XL 1 to 5 extruders and extruders. It's ready to print. So if this was helpful, please click thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Enjoy printing. Thank you.